Well, hi there, everybody, and good Thursday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski coming off of our first hit of snowfall so far this season. It wasn't a, a powerful storm system, at least not in terms of how much snow it left. It was a strong storm system in the fact that it did bring snow, a lot of wind, and even tornadic weather off to our east. Now things are much quieter out there. As we take a look at our uh, future cast, again, that storm system is now over the Great Lakes region. So we've cleared up skies. Still a bit breezy out there this morning, and it is on the chilly side, but not terribly cold considering our temperatures have stayed fairly steady or even risen since yesterday uh, evening. Uh, so a pretty quiet start to our day. It's going to be breezy, if not even on the windy side today. The strongest winds will be closer to that storm system to the east and to the northeast. And it'll be a cool day, but a pretty average day out there with high temperatures topping out in the upper 40s, lower to mid 50s. As we head into tonight, it is going to be on the cold side tonight with high pressure scooting through. Maybe a few clouds off to the southwest tonight, otherwise mostly clear skies and temperatures will fall back into the 20s. Heading into tomorrow, well, we'll have plenty of sunshine out there and an improvement out there as temperatures get into the 50s across much of the area and the winds won't be too strong out of the southwest at 5 to 15 miles per hour. So let's take a look at what we can expect for today. Upper 40s, lower 50s up north with plenty of sunshine. Winds are going to be quite strong, especially the farther east you go. Uh, close to that system again the winds will be up there around uh, 20 to 30 miles per hour to the west the winds will be a little lighter upper 40s lower 50s i think a little cooler out towards imperial they had a little more snow out there near the colorado border up around uh, two to four inches four and a half inches even up in perkins county so a little cooler there looking at the south we're looking at temperatures low to mid 50s maybe even upper 50s down towards beloit plenty of sunshine a breezy day and then a little windier out towards the east with temperatures topping out in the low to mid 50s your extended forecast your temperatures will be warming up through the weekend or going into the weekend plenty of sunshine a little more of a wind on saturday and sunday will drop off a few degrees on sunday i think mainly just because of a few extra clouds coming in towards the end of the day a little moisture coming in from the south here and we'll actually see a slight chance of some precipitation on sunday night into monday but again it's a warmer weather uh, system so we're not going to see a big drop in fact we may stay in the lower 60s on monday but things will be changing though as we head towards monday night into tuesday and that could continue even into tuesday night and maybe wednesday there are some major question marks right now with the impacts of our next storm system will it hit us directly or will it glance us to the southeast forecast models are still struggling with this they're also struggling with the amount of cold air with the system so we could be talking about barely anything or we could be talking about major snowstorm and then there's everything in between. So I can't give you an answer right now to what to expect, but just kind of throwing in the chance of rain or snow just to prepare and let you know, hey, there is at least that chance there as we get into early next week, along with some colder air that works in as well. So there you go. There is your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski, and I hope you have a great Thursday.